what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so this series is basically all about my daily workouts and my movements and how to do specific movements in particular so this series is definitely dedicated to nemwads um, my ebooks as well as 30 day carb cycling challenge workouts that are in there as well so that way you guys get a nice little um i would say so you guys basically just see me doing the workouts i know that there are pictures in my ebooks and everything like that but i wanted to just extend something a little bit further talk about the movement and things of that nature so without further ado let's get into it and of course you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe um and let's get right into it so the first movement that i wanted to talk about oh yeah and also all of these videos they're only going to be dialed in for that specific movement that way you're not watching like a five hour youtube video so this one is all about how to do a kettlebell swing using a dumbbell so dumbbells are amazing and i feel like a lot of people have dumbbells more so than kettlebells so a lot of the questions that i get asked is how to properly do a kettlebell swing when you see either in my daily workouts where you see a kettlebell swing but you want to use a dumbbell or if you're getting the ebook that is all dumbbell movements so here you go a regular kettlebell swing is you're literally just doing the exact same movement but with a dumbbell and why i love kettlebell swings um or dumbbell swings so much is because it is a full body workout you know you're working your shoulders you're working your arms you're working your triceps your core your glutes your thighs your hamstrings because when you're moving everything is working and i love those types of workouts because i feel like you're getting the best bang for your buck not only that your heart rate is getting jacked which is also great for fat burning that's what we like um hence why i sweat so much but let's get into it so here you go you have your dumbbell so this is a 15 pound dumbbell and what i do is i wrap my fingers around it right here at like the top of the head and what you're going to do is you you're at a um a little more than like a shoulder width stance um and then what you're going to do is you start with a swinging motion through your legs and you guys this is a hinge like hip hinge movement so I don't want your back hurting. I don't want you arching. I don't want any of that going on. So let us let me demonstrate without the weight at all. I want you guys to see like the width of my legs. They're a little bit wider than shoulder width. And you're going through your legs like this. So your back is nice and straight like that, like here. But all of this is sucked in and tight and strong because we don't want to hurt our lower back we don't want um we just don't want to move our body in any way that can cause injury so and hinge meaning you're literally thrusting so when you come up with the kettlebell i want you to hump the air so that way you're literally you're squeezing your booty cheeks but you're also bringing your abs in so sucking those abs like compressing the booty cheeks as well as bringing your belly button in to you as well so let me show you you're here i'll show you from the side so swing through boom swing through boom swing through boom and your only shoulder height shoulder height you don't want to go anything higher than your shoulder because then you could start you know really messing with your rotator cuff which causes injury and stuff like that you don't want to do that so let me do it from the front and a little bit closer so you guys can see you're hinged over you stick your booty out and then you're thrusting forward boom just like that really really simple really really easy you should feel no pain whatsoever um if you're feeling pain that means you're doing it wrong from here you're straight thrust 
straight. Just think of that. Straight and thrust. Um, that is basically it, you guys. So get after your kettlebell swings. Get after your dumbbell swings. And a day at a time. I love you guys. For everybody that's brand new, um, I have my daily workouts up at natalieevemarie.com. I have ebooks up there, um, multiple things. So if you guys want to do my workouts of the day, I'll put the link underneath this video. And you guys already know I don't edit, so what you see is what you get. It's a real deal. Um, so I love you guys, and a day at a time.